Hello, this is a small teaser video about the Artemis Extender software I am developing. Uh, this software will allow you to extend Artemis abilities by adding new hotkeys and new ways of controlling stuff. Uh, basically, I just wanted to um, fix some awkward ways uh, to control, for example, the jump drive. So this program, you launch the program and you launch the Artemis by clicking this button. Uh, then you start climb, it will click like this. That means it found the values in the memory which it should modify. So, uh, if you don't hear that click, uh, a lot of stuff won't work. So if it doesn't work for you, then please tell me and I'll try to fix it. So basically, what can you do? My first concern was the jump drive interface. It was really awkward to do because you had to set, first you had to set this to the closest amount. For example, you need to set it to 256 and you try to find the closest one and then you have to click the buttons to make it the, 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 the exact direction you need. And uh, kind of same way with the distance, it's easier with the distance because the slider is bigger and the amount of discrete values is, sl is, l uh, is uh, lesser, uh, smaller, <laughs> sorry, but it's still kind of problem. So what I did is you can just point your mouse anywhere on the screen and press in a hotkey, you can set the direction to be the same direction you'd get if you click. Uh, with your mouse. For example, I click here, I get a direction of 18, and so if I click uh, my hotkey, it sets basically to the same direction, almost, no, 17, 18. So here will be 80 something, here will be 160, 180, 280, and so on. And you can also just hold the hotkey and you'll have it continuously update with your mouse. So we can, for example, if you need to set an exact coordinate of uh, 256, uh, you can do it like this and then you tune it. And then when you're at the required direction, you stop holding the hotkey and it's set. Same with the distance. You can use another hotkey to set a distance equal to the distance, or to the relative distance between the ship and the Mm, degree right, degree circle, I don't know how to call it. So for example here it's maximum distance and out, the, out there it's still the maximum distance and inside it will go to zero when you're at your ship. So it's also for example if I need to set 35 I can just click it uh, somewhere near where I, where, where I think is the position for 70% uh, of the distance and then I'll fine tune it to get the 35 I need. Once again you can click the hotkey or you can just hold it and it will update constantly. Here's that. Also you can just change it by one with another set of hotkeys if that's better for you. Uh, the next is the weapons console. On the weapons console you uh, often have to, for example, here you are, you have enemies out here and you have to engage them in the combat. So you use your manual beam setting to uh, target their beam systems so you can quickly destroy, uh, damage the beam systems of all of the enemies first and then you can continue to, to destroy them. Uh, this requires you to click the auto beams button, then click somewhere here for the enemy ship, then uh, when your science officer tells you you have destroy, uh, damaged their, their, their beam system, you have to go back, click the auto beams, then you have to go back here, click the enemy, go back here, click the auto beams, go back here, fire at the enemy, go back here, click off the beams, and so on and so forth. That's why I made a hotkey for that. It basically just moves the mouse quickly, clicks the button and moves the mouse back. There is no other way I can think of right now to do it. But it does its work. So right now you can just 
move your mouse around and by using your key key keyboard you can set auto beams on and off same for the frequencies of the beams for example you're in the manual beam mode you're firing on your enemy and then you're told you have to set the frequency from a you have currently to f because f is the most effective you have to move your mouse here change it by hand oh sorry there's no f <laughs> and move it here so that's why i added hotkeys for the frequency it's basically the same move the mouse here same with the torpedo to energy conversion you're in the fight your energy is getting low you have to convert energy to the torpedo to energy to have more energy to continue firing beams you have to move your mouse and click this little tiny button here which is awfully hard in some uh, fierce combat situations so you have hotkeys for that too let me undock to, uh, so i can demonstrate it so here is that uh, energy to torpedo torpedo to energy and of course the shields uh, the new mm, new version introduced the hotkey for the shields to the helm console but no hotkey was made for the weapons console i added that uh, that's and uh, finally uh, the buttons that uh, set uh, kind of the screen they also have their own hotkeys so for example if you are in the middle of navigating uh, the sh the, or in the middle of fighting and your captain tells you give me that view you don't have to um, move your mouse again uh, you just press the hotkey like the rear view uh, like the status view the tactical view that's it so here is that uh, I'm not, I haven't yet released this software to public, but I plan to do it uh, very soon if I get no objections. Um, it has a totally customizable hotkey list, so you can customize everything. You can, you can have any combination of control, shift, alts, and uh, any key. And I'm going to update it with more functionality. Um, for example, I think that uh, having a hotkey for impulse 100 is a is something that is required because right now uh, you can only change impulse by a little on the keyboard. You can't change it immediately to max. However, you can do it with the mouse. So why not let do it, let the player do it with the keyboard? Same with maneuver. I think I'm going to uh, allow to set the maneuver to uh, moment um, set the maneuver to maximum possible um, at, at once without the need to set it like this, which takes more time. And I also think that I will probably add a hotkey for the scan button. Scan bu scan button here here and for the zoom here because it's also then you have to move the map and find something it, it takes too much to, way a lot of time to find this exact button and click on it it's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten buttons exactly so you can exactly match this to the numbers on the keyboard and that will help the science officer immensely and the scan button as well, because if you're, for example, here, you're scanning the fleet, you have to also kind of constantly move here, then here, here, and so on. And I don't think that's very comfortable to do. So here's that. Uh, thanks for watching. I think I'll release this program soon as, as soon uh, as soon as I am sure it's kind of stable. Well, as much uh, as stable as it can be. Thanks. Bye.